Nice. It's what we call getting shit happy right here, baby. <laughs> Let's go find some more. You to be alive right about now. <laughs> So we're up here uh, in the beaver region, Utah, and uh, it's about muzzleloader season. We found uh, an elk area up here. It's actually uh, very popular with uh, the local people and hunters up in this area. So there's a lot of people camped out here right now. Uh, kind of getting worried as uh, far as whether or not they might have uh, picked up all the sheds or not already. But we got one right over here. So it turns out they're not hiking. They're just taking their quads up the little dirt roads and stuff like that. Nobody's really hiking. If they are hiking, they're not hiking far from the roads. Right now, we're almost two miles away from the truck. So that's how far in we hiked. And we haven't seen a single person track whatsoever. And tons and tons of elk sign. So let's go pick up this shit. Nice. Underneath the sagebrush, too. He must have been bedded down right here or raked his head on the ground. Got it caught up underneath of there. Yeah. He's a five point, almost almost a six. Um, yeah, definitely this spring, this year. Hard white. It's pretty light though. It's what we call getting shit happy right here, baby. <laughs> Let's go find some more. All right. Wow. It's been quite a hike. I think it's been about two hours since I found that, uh, that first five point. I've been packing around this one antler the whole time. But we just found us another antler. Check this out. I don't even know how I spotted it. Actually, I had two opportunities to spot this thing. Uh, one from right here, where I just happened to be walking into these trees. And then one from the other side, when I was walking through the opening, there's actually an opening right there. I could have spotted it through, but I didn't even see it until I got about 20 yards away. <laughs> so let's go check this thing out. It's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Look at that sucker. That's a good antler right there, man. Wowza. Look at the base on that thing. Jeez. He's got a big old base for a little five point. Wow. Oh. That's about two years old, I'd say. Let's see here. Whoop. Whoa, and around we go. Uh, <laughs> look at that sucker. Yeah. Yeah, he's about, to, I'd say, probably exactly two years old. He's still nice and uh, hard up here. But uh, he's starting to crack a little right down here. Get a little grayish. That base is enormous. Wow. Look at that sucker. That's a good base for, for a five point. Jeez. And a short five point too. I mean, he's not long or nothing. Doesn't even look like he wanted to get started into a six yet. Huge brow tines. Really nice and long. Heavy antler too. I just can't believe he's a short little five crazy you know what's funny is uh i was looking i dropped my pack over here next to the antler and uh started searching all around this little uh draw right here for the match 
and I got lost. I couldn't find my pack again. <laughs> so I had to retrace my steps after I got through about a half hour's worth of uh, zigzagging through all this stuff. Uh, I had to go all the way back up to where I started into this area and then try, kind of follow my my tracks down and uh, got lucky. Happened, found it again. Good thing too because my pack was only about 20 yards away from it. I left it there. So yeah, and now we got two antlers for the day. It's uh, this is probably about typical for my uh, my elk shed hunting uh, routine. It's like usually takes a good hour or more between antlers. I don't often find a bunch of antlers, you know, within an hour or something like that. It's usually an hour or more uh, between each antler that I find. So this is pretty typical today. It's a little bit slower than usual, I guess, but uh, it's not too far off the norm. Getting shed happy, all right. Check this out. We found a little deadhead. So let's check this guy out. Oh, wow. Nothing big or anything, but uh, three by three. Well, I tell you, that skull is in perfect condition for a European mount. Look at that. That's perfect for a European mount, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Hello, hello, hello. Well, this is it. This is uh, October the 8th. Um, we've been spending the last four weeks trying to explore new areas here in Utah. Uh, kind of, I call it a central, almost central Utah. It's more like southern Utah. Uh, we're going to start off. We're, I got a couple of uh, pin marks on the map that are just a little bit north of this area. And then I've got a few more pin marks that are going south from this area along the mountain range around uh, between 7,000 feet and 7,800 feet. Um, so those are the places that I want to check out. Uh, so I'll be starting at the furthest north uh, point that I wanted to check. I uh, might spend a whole day up there. And then uh, maybe the next day I'll spend uh, in the middle area. And then uh, on the third day I'll spend in the far southern portion of where I mapped out. Um, so it's a three-day shed trip, and uh, hopefully we survive everything, hopefully everything goes good, and uh, hopefully we find lots of sheds. So, wish us luck. So hopefully, we get shed happy. You betcha. What a hike today. I've been out all day long today. <sighs> Hiking so much different area. Everything looks good, you know. I don't know why I'm not finding them. Came up on a big bull elk. Got some video footage of him. Check him out, he's pretty good. I think all of his points are intact. I'll be finding his antlers in the spring. Damn, I wish you'd give me a profile. Thank you. Now the other way. You're sexy, come on, you're sexy. You're a sexy beast. big old herd bull uh, that was cool and uh, tell you what we've been hiking all day it's been tough my back is killing me my feet are wet it just rained yesterday it rained all day today too <laughs> but uh, hey this is what you got to do man to find antlers so anyways check this out found our first antler for the day not an elk little muley it's only a two point but Let's check it out here. Well, it's a hard white at least. Been chewed on a little bit the base. But at least it's a hard white. So that's good. <laughs> All right, so check this out. I just moved about 20 yards or so. And I spotted a little black bear right down there in those uh, 
a little scrub oak going right down into the valley here. He's still in there. He's just poking around. I can see him right now, barely. But uh, the really cool thing about this is not only did I spot a black bear, and I'm getting him on video. Well, you can't really see him on the video, I'm sure, because he's, oh, I'd say about nine to 900 to 1,000 yards away. But check this out. The area that I, <coughs> the very spot that I stopped to get a good look at him, blast him up. Could be a deadhead. Right over there. <laughs> Let's go check out that deadhead. That black bear is a little too far away to video. We'll try to get closer to him. I don't have my predator call with me. That'd be a nice way to get him to come in, bring the real video camera out, and get some good footage. Either way, we're going to try to get closer to him and uh, look for antlers on the way. So let's go check out this deadhead first. Long day, lots of hiking. Tell you what, we're steep up here too. We're near the top of this uh, this big old mountain here that goes up up to almost 10,000 feet. Well, well, well. Look at that short, stout little guy. Short, stout. <laughs> what the heck? That's a mule deer, but it looks like a freaking whitetail. Look at that thing. Ugh. Let's see if I'm getting them all on film here. Look at that guy. Talk about short and just totally stout, kind of. Comes in. Must have some whitetail blood in them or something. Jeez, I haven't seen too many mule deers like that. I mean, uh, mule deer. What the F? I'm saying deer. What am I saying? <laughs> Good morning, folks. It's about 9 a.m. Uh, day three of this particular shed trip that I'm on. And uh, we woke up to some snow. Yeah, the roads are all. It rained first, and then, of course, it snowed later, so the roads are just totally muddy. I can't believe I even got this far up here. Uh, but, of course, the higher up in elevation I wanted to get for the Elkhorns, the more snow there is. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, we're going to have to wait a little bit to let some of this stuff melt off. It's got blue skies today, so it shouldn't, shouldn't take more than a couple hours for this stuff to start melting off. Hey, it's all fun, man. We're having a great time up here in the mountains. Can't beat it, man. Way better than the city. <laughs> loving it, loving it, loving it. That's what we call a very big buck. This guy's spectacular. <laughs> 